Hi everyone. It's a beautiful day here in the state of Maine. So nice. And you can hear the birds singing. Hopefully you can hear me over the birds. <laughs> there was there were some crows that were really loud here a few minutes ago. Anyway, there goes one right there. Not a crow, but <laughs> you know I love you folks, I really do. I love you folks. You know what I felt to talk about today was uh, before YouTube, I'll tell you just a few stories. Um, this was long before YouTube. Uh, the Lord, the way He led me through the years. It really is qu quite incredible, and I'm not. Uh, all glory be to God. I'm not. I'm not going to share these things. To, certainly not to puff myself up, that's not at all. Uh, this is to give all glory to Jesus. My life was, uh, it was very different before YouTube. It was, it was very different. Very good, I mean, the way that the Lord led me for many years. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you folks remember that, that show that used to be on television, Highway to Heaven. Um, I used to like watching that show. It was really good, but of course, if you don't know about the show, it was uh, basically a story of how that God sent an angel to the earth, and he had a mission, and he wasn't sure what the mission was, uh, but he would have to go to certain locations and uh, meet certain people, and there were certain people that were his assignment. God gave him these assignments to reach these people. Well, I'm certainly not an angel. <laughs> I'm certainly not an angel, but but I used to watch that show, and, and uh, you know, my life was a lot like that before I ever got on YouTube um, for many years, many, many years. Um, well, to make a long story short, uh, I used to I used to work doing residential carpenter work, so I was always around a lot of different people. Always somebody new and, and somebody that I never met before, you know, to actually meet them. I might have saw them in town or whatever, but never really met these people. But after a while, uh, it got so that so that I'd, uh, I'd meet these people, but then I would say, Lord, Okay, what's my assignment with these people? What is it uh, that you... What's the reason why that we connected? You know, if you're listening right now, I believe that the Lord has connected you with my videos. I really do. I, I, I truly believe that because of the things I'm about to tell you. I would go from one uh, job to another and I'd meet people and... Uh, and I would wonder, well, I wonder what it is that's going to happen on this job or with this person. And I, th and then I would have a dream about them, and then they would start talking about things, and it was things that I saw in the dream, and uh, and I would, uh, I would talk to them. Some people, they, a lot of people, they just simply needed the Lord. The Lord knew that they were searching out and looking. And he knew that, of course, Jesus, he knew that they needed him. And he would try to reach them. Uh, some people were, it was, uh, I believe it was productive and successful. But some, some sadly rejected and would, would turn away in, uh, in a nice way. They were really nice. They were really nice to me and everything. But there were some that the Lord showed me, Mark, you can try. That, but they're going to reject and they did I would see it in dreams that they would walk away and they would reject the gospel and uh, the Lord knew ahead of time anyways um, before I share any more I'd like to share a scripture that the Lord laid on my heart just before making this video it's found in if I can see it I should have grabbed my glasses but um, it's found in St. John chapter 10, starting with verse 9 through 11. I am the door. 
This is Jesus speaking in the Bible here. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. You know, Jesus, he's the only way of salvation. Some folks that listen to me, um, you don't know the Lord yet. You haven't asked Jesus into your life yet. Well, uh, I like people to know that I'll love you anyway. I love you whether whether you come to Christ or not, just like the people that I used to talk to. I, I would love them just the same, and I would pray for them just the same. But I hope you listen to the rest of my video, and uh, give God a chance. Give Him a chance. You certainly would not regret it, because, oh, there's no other, no way to live only for Jesus. There's no other way. It's, it's uh, very peaceful, and He loves us so much. There was one certain story that I wanted to share, and it was many years ago, so long ago, and this was, I'm talking about one of those assignments that God gave me. And to God be all the glory. But in this uh, situation, I was, I was working with, uh, I think it was two or three other carpenters. We were painting and doing some carpenter work for, in these different homes. Anyway, we were working, uh, working on this one house. And again, uh, I was thinking now, I wonder what my assignment's going to be here from the Lord. And uh, back then I was so shy, oh my goodness. I was, the sh you know, I was the shyest guy in high school. <laughs> I really was, but I was so, so shy. But this man that lived in this house, he was an older, older man, oh he would be passed away a long time ago by now because at the time he was uh, he was about 75 to 80 years old and if he's still alive he'd be the oldest man on earth that's for sure <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure he would be gone because that was many years ago but he would come out and he'd talk to uh, he talked to us some, but it was mainly to the other guys because I was so shy, you know. <laughs> I couldn't talk to myself, let alone someone else. But uh, this man, he would come out and he would talk with the other guys, and uh, they would just talk about life in general or different things. I heard him say this. Uh, at least two or three different times I heard him say this. Uh, he'd be talking right along and and he would say, well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to hell anyway. That's what he would say. He would claim that he was going to hell anyway, so what difference does it make? He said that at least three or four times uh, throughout the course of working there. You know, that really, really bothered me. That really bothered me. And I could see, well, Lord, I know, I can see now what my assignment is here. But, Lord, I'm, I just don't know what to say. And I, I don't know, uh, I, I need a quiet time with this man. So that's just me and him. So that these other people aren't uh, in the way or... Uh, so I can get his complete attention. So I prayed about it. I prayed, Lord, Lord, please make a way. Please make a way that I can talk with this man because, um, you know, a lot of people that I've talked to through the years, it wasn't long after, and uh, this is so strange, but it wasn't long after and they would pass away. I, me I remember different people that I talked to. They were given one last chance to accept Christ and uh, and then they would pass away I, I've, I've seen this trend over and over again 
but this man uh, we kept working there and and the way it worked out the Lord answered my prayer he answered my prayer and the other guys had to be sent to another job doing something else and there was something inside conveniently <laughs> There was something inside his house that needed to be fixed, and I had a few days to work in there in his house, just me and him. So the Lord answered my prayer. He made a way. Again, if you're listening to me right now, I would not doubt a bit that God has a divine appointment with you and me. So I hope you've listened to the rest of my video. So I, I worked in this man's house, and uh, as shy as I was, I would try to talk to him. And then finally, I, I, I just kept praying, Lord, help me, help me to, help me to do this, help me to talk to this man. It's so important. And uh, I, I can't remember. Oh, the birds are, <laughs> birds are loud. <laughs> But, you know, I can't remember how we got into the conversation. But I started talking to him about the Lord. And, uh, and then finally I mentioned to him, you know, uh, there's something that you've been saying that's really been bothering me a lot. And, uh, oh, what's that? And uh, I, I told him that I, I heard him quite a few times when he was talking with the, with the other guys how the, he said that he was going to go to hell anyway and I told him how much that bothered me and I really want to see him go to heaven I want to see him when when this life is over I want to see him go to heaven I don't want to see him go to hell and uh, you know, to make a long story short, he he was very serious and he listened to me. And uh, and I asked him, if I prayed with you, would you uh, would you pray after me? Would you ask Jesus into your heart and into your life? And he said he would. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He sincerely prayed after me. You know, I I just. Uh, I sincerely hope that he really meant it when he prayed. I believe he did, because I would really like to see him in heaven. I really would. I'd like to say I'm not trying to lead people to Christ, because I'm just trying to get another uh, precious stone in my crown or anything. If I'm, as long as I'm with Jesus in heaven, that'll be heaven for me. I'm just. I would be just so delighted for as many people as possible to come to Christ while they can. You know, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. There's people that are listening to me right now. You feel this tug on your heart that you've never felt before. You feel, uh, you feel this pull and this drawing, this drawing to, and you don't quite understand it, but it's to accept Christ. The Holy Spirit is, uh, a show that I used to watch when I was younger. <laughs> it was uh, Star Trek. I used to like to watch Star Trek some, but they would put a tractor beam on on something out in space, you know. Well, put it this way, it's like the Holy Spirit is putting a tractor beam on you to draw you and to pull you in, to pull you in to himself, to accept Christ. Jesus, he loves you so much that he died for you. And he would he would have died just for you if, if he had to. If you were the only one to be saved. So I I just uh, I just 
hope and pray that you come to Christ and ask him, ask him, repeat this prayer after me, dear Lord Jesus, Lord, I, I don't understand all, all things, especially in the Bible, but I feel that tug on my heart. Jesus, I ask that you would please forgive me of all of my sins, cleanse me from all unrighteousness, and please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord and Savior and help me to walk with you, I pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I love you folks so much and I and this this may not be for everyone and I never thought I would ever do this myself <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna give you folks a hug <laughs> oh Jesus he loves you so much oh I just pray that you feel the love that Jesus has for you as the tears are streaming down your face know that Jesus he loves you and he died just for you and if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior please please call out to him right now please ask him into your heart and into your life like many years ago I I spoke with a lot of people but uh, some accepted some unfortunately some rejected but a lot of times I found that they didn't have a lot of time afterward and I'm not saying that'll happen to you but I believe this is a, a divine appointment for some people you need to ask Jesus to come into your heart and into your life because time is quickly running out for you he loves you so much and he wants you he wants, he wants to be your Lord and Savior. He wants you to go to heaven. That's what Jesus wants. He did everything that he could do to ensure that you go to heaven. You just have to accept his free gift of salvation. You just have to accept. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would touch each and every one out there. Oh, Lord, I pray that you would bind up the brokenhearted. And Lord, I pray that you would set those free that need deliverance, in Jesus' name. Those that are bound by addictions, I pray that you would set them free, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would touch each and every heart out there. Thank you so much, Lord, for hearing and answering prayer. Oh, we love you so much. Thank you for everything, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless and keep you all. God bless and keep you all. And I hope you enjoyed all of the sound effects all around me here. <laughs> the birds singing. You know, about a couple weeks ago, I was with my wife by the flower bed. And uh, w w would you believe that a, would you believe that a bear walked by? <laughs> It was, it was only about 40 to 50 feet away from us. It just walked by, and I was, it wasn't a real big bear. It was, I'm, I'm guessing it was probably around 200, 225 in, in weight, pounds, that is. But it, uh, it just walked by. It was on a mission to go somewhere, and I just, uh, they're easy to scare, and it's nothing to be afraid of, as, as long as they don't have a cub. If they have a cub, you want to find the door to your house. <laughs> but we're used to we're used to wildlife around here. We see deer and moose all the time around our property here. Right where I'm sitting, I've seen deer, uh, two or three deer running through here. The other a few weeks ago, I saw a mother deer and and her little one going with her. It's just really cute, you know. <laughs> anyway, God bless and keep you all, and you all take care until next time. Bye for now.